Hello, Nomad Sculpt and let's sculpt such a ornament thing or with a lot of details. So let's start. Something like this here. Okay, let's start with a new scene and the sphere we don't need, so delete it. We need um, a plane primitive, so at, the, at a plane and I rotate the plane in the front view, so like this. At the moment this here is the wireframe, so um, I validate this object and I use here multi-resolution and subdivide the mesh maybe up to a million here, so something like this. So then we need an ornament. Um, here I use the picture search for ornament vector. I use such a such an image here. Um, you can um, you can draw your um, your ornament um, also manually. Uh, uh, you need a mask here, so I use um, the mask and I stamp it. So I change the mask to log radius type. I choose the flat fall off here and I change now the alpha image. So And then I use the guideline of the symmetry here to see the center point and I deselect the symmetry on the left side. So now I place here, so something is wrong with the, with the scaling of the alpha, I think. We need it a little bit smaller, uh, sorry. So again, so that let's place here the thing, and I I use here the lock rotation to make it um, symmetric. Okay, the so, um, the mask I extract with a a shell thickness of zero but I use a border smoothness here. So I extract the whole thing and now in solo view it looks like this here. The other plane we don't need anymore. So I record this video with version um, 185, so, but for this tutorial, tutorial you can also work with older versions, so it works. So mask the whole thing here, that it's masked, and then we need a shell thickness and border smoothness off and extract the whole thing. Then it looks like this. Here the wireframe, make sure that your uh, edge loop is zero here, so when you extract the whole thing. Okay. So the next thing is we trim the whole object and here hole filling is off. So no hole filling and I trim the top. And the bottom. So this is what we get. The next step is we need the cell mask tool, cell masking, and mask the bottom. So, yeah. So you see here the bottom is masked. Okay. Now it's possible to use the move tool. 
and with the move tool you can here adjust your your um, um, yes your ornament like you want so you can use the symmetry um, you can play here with a um, with a whole shape um, and deform it like you want so maybe like this or like this and to play with this um, things um, here you can check your filter if connected topology is active then it reacts different um, or connected topology is the checkbox is on then you can control here yeah in a other way so maybe this is what you want so yeah i change here in a, a few things Yes, I'm happy. Um, or a smaller radius. Okay, so the next thing is here, you can, here is normally the clear option. Um, now it's in the top menu here, clear the mask and mask the whole thing again. So like this here. And now use the misc menu and here you see a close holes option and here you can set the detail. So use a little bit of higher detail and press close holes. So like this. You see here the curved shapes and so on. And now let's protect the bottom. I use now cell mask again. And I mask the bottom. Let's check, yeah, everything is masked. So now it's time to sculpt. So you can use here the crease brush. So, and here crease um, your shapes here. And you can use a little bit of higher intensity, so You see how how it works so like this if you need more topology um, for the surface here um, it's possible to use the dyna dynamic topology and here you see here a remesh option um, so so you can remesh the top surface here and um, and now, yeah, brush here, your ornament things. So I use for this a little bit um, a different uh, crease brush. So you can adjust it a little bit, the crease. And yes, smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, you see how it works, I think. I 
turn the wireframe off and now you see here the ornaments. No, I need it in the invert one. Okay, and when you're happy with your design or the whole thing, yeah, you can play here for hours. So you can use here a voxel remesh and remesh it with a, a higher voxel density. and smooth the whole thing a little bit. So when you are happy, um, you can also clear the mask and use the crease brush um, for the sides. Here maybe like this. Oops. So I have to deselect the connected topology thing, I think. No, it's too much. So, and a little bit smoothing. So, I think it's okay for a few minutes' work. Um, the next thing here is we have a high high poly count so we can use round all brush brush one time two times and then we can decimate the whole thing so a poly count about this 32,000 is okay so it's a nice ornament thing okay that's it have fun with sculpting, ciao.